To determine whether CH2F2 is polar or nonpolar, let's first look at the Lewis structure. This is called difluoromethane. So we have our Lewis structure here, and each one of these lines here represents a pair of electrons. So when we look at the periodic table and we can figure out the difference in electronegativity between the atoms. So here's fluorine here, 3.98, carbon 2.55. So there's a pretty big difference between the carbon and the fluorines in these bonds. And what that means is because the fluorine is more electronegative than the carbon, the electrons in this pair of shared electrons, this covalent bond, they'll spend more time around the fluorine atom. That'll make the fluorine atom a little more negative. So the bond between the chlorine and the fluorine, that's a polar bond. The hydrogen, that's 2.20. So the difference between the hydrogen and the carbon, 2.55, 2.20, not as big of a difference in polarity. So it's really these two here is a big difference in polarity. Let's look at the molecular geometry to figure out if overall we have a polar molecule. So here we have our CH2F2. The fluorines, they're the green, and then the whites, those are the hydrogens. Carbon is the center of the molecule here. We know that the fluorines are more negative, and they're on one side of the molecule. So we think this whole side would be negative. That would make this side positive, and we'd have a polar molecule. Let's look at the surface of the molecule, though. So when we look at the red, this is more negative. The blue is more positive. And we can say that CH2F2, definitely, that's a polar molecule. You can see the side with the fluorine atoms here is red, very negative compared to this blue side with the hydrogens, which is more positive. So in answer to our question, CH2F2 is a polar molecule. And it's a polar molecule because the electrons in the bond between the carbon and the fluorine spend more time with the fluorine atom. That makes it more negative. Over here, we have a more positive side. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.